Welcome back to Barrel Brothers and today we truly are doing something different. to that one for two reasons one we hadn't unveiled the, the Viper Chino yet and the second reason was that this still has the 140 kilometer an hour speed limiter in it so you know it, it was hopeless but this today's track day is at Pheasant Wood down in Maroolan so that's so I've just filled the car up with fuel packed it I've jingered it full I've even got an esky in here tell me <laughs> But yeah, Esky full of drinks, I've got some camera gear in the back and we, we're going to go and have a bit of fun. Um, the only drama I have is since I bought this car, I have not, I changed all the fluids except the brake fluid, which is, I think today may be a bit of a drama. Um, it looks, to, it's very sunny at the moment and humid, but uh, they, they say it could be cloudy. Um, so it might keep the temperature down, but I think that I might have to, like, because I found out at work yesterday, I haven't had time to bleed the brakes. So I, I grabbed some fluid on the way home yesterday, and we might have to we'll go out and do a couple of, if the pedal goes a bit soft, then I think we'll just have to do a bleed out there. I've got all my gear to do a brake bleed, but, um, yeah, that's where we are at the moment. So we're just turning on to the freeway, and uh, away we go. This is going to be fun. I haven't done a track day in uh, almost 10 years. The last time, last track day I did was at Winton down in Victoria for the Skyline Nationals. And at the time I was driving a uh, my HR31 Skyline that had a, a uh, GDSR engine in it. It sounded really good, very laggy. It was a heap of fun, had a really tight diff on it. Um, I had a suspension set up more for looks than track track duties but it was a, it was a scream to drive this but <laughs> it had more power than this but it also weighed more than twice what this weighs uh, this is 700 kilos that was 1420 from memory so um, and under steering so this is a very very different proposition Here we are, and uh, <laughs> we're all lined up, ready to go. Check this guy's car out. These guys have got the big guns out. <laughs> Say hello, guys. Say hello, people. Oh, it's good. Yeah, let's get some pretty attractive already. So yeah, we're good to go. First session over, and I forgot to turn the camera on. <laughs> car went surprisingly well. Uh, I think I may have a gearbox or a clutch problem. Um, just letting it cool down at the moment and then we'll take for a little drive up and down the road and see how everything's going from there But yeah, man, it's fun on the track, eh? Wow
Alrighty, so here we are leaving Pheasant's Wood Circuit. The standard clutch has given up the ghost. It was a new clutch that I put into it. Let's wind the window up because I've got the air conditioning going. So basically I've got a really horrible sounding clutch at the moment. Um, so the, the trick is going to be getting it on the freeway and uh, just trundle it home. I thought it might have been the gearbox at the start, but now listening to the noises and, and consulting with the boys. Um, Marty described pretty much the same thing when they were in Malaysia uh, with the clutch, it was the same deal. This will select gears all right, but the cl clutch, obviously all the friction material is, I don't know, somewhere on the track or in the bottom of the bell housing, but you can hear it and it clunk. Yeah, so the flywheel is going to be pretty ugly by the time we get it off. But yeah, while it was out there running, unfortunately I, did, I forgot to turn the camera on like an idiot. You can probably hear the clutch now. Oh. It works. It should probably, you know, yeah, trouble selecting third. matches as much as possible but yeah uh, while it was out on the track it was phenomenal I got caught a couple of times the last time I was at this track it wasn't even this shape it was a bit of a goat track but I was driving my HR31 Skyline and the, the way that you drove that was uh, trail braking and um, buttoning off like to get it to turn this thing I tried that and oh it's like suddenly sideways and because of the short wheelbase you have to be pretty quick but the diff really hooked up it was actually fast on the track it did quite a fast thing i mean stuff would pass it on the straight yeah okay so we can select gears all right it's just a clutch um yeah stuff was passing on it got passed twice by a Lamb lamborghini huara car so <laughs> funnily enough but like I, you know it, he was he i talked to him and he was said like i was he can keep up with me on the corners. This thing's lightning through the corners. Man, it's fast through the corners. Uh, it just sort of loses out in the power a little bit, you know, mainly because it's only a 660. But it's hilarious to drive. It's just a pity that um, the clutch didn't last long enough for, for Marty and, and a few of the boys to have a drive it too, because it's a lot of fun. So Marty was here on his Copen. So yeah, we'll, we'll have to set up a bit of a showdown into the future but for now yeah i'm on my way home um, i don't think i need a gearbox it's, i think it's all clutch so we'll, we'll get a g up a uh, an exceedy heavy duty ben uh, bcw ben has sent me a link for uh, a heavy duty exceedy clutch um, which will should last a bit longer than what we had to get one session out of it I think that um, I might have been changing down a little bit too early, so it took a little while to learn the track. Um, what else? The, yeah, well, the, it's got a couple of new curly corners in it, but once once I got a handle on it, once <laughs> once I got a handle on it, I started doing my HR31 habits, which was the trail braking and whatnot. Yeah, no, not in this car. It's not. You barely need to, um, you barely need to button off for, uh, for the corners. You just throw it in, like you throw this car into corners. Absolutely chuck it in and then get on the noise fairly early. It's not very laggy, it's quite good, but yeah. The temperature needle did not budge. Um, the brakes were actually quite good, I think it's Watching Barrel Brothers. Next episode, putting a new clutch in.